this box ever live? I'll be with you boys in a minute. He better than Cassius Clay. He better than Sugar Ray. He better than what that new boy Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson look like a bulldog. He better than him too. He done whooped Mike Tyson. He done whooped all them people. What about Rocky Marciano? Oh, there they go. There they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, some white man got to bring up Rocky Marciano. That's their one. That's their one. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Let me tell you something once and for all. Rocky Marciano was good, but compared to Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano ain't nothing. He beat Joe Lewis's. That's right, he did whoop Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis was 75 years old when they fought! Now, I don't know how old he was when they fought, but he got his butt whooped. Joe Lewis came out of retirement to fight Rocky Marciano. The man was 76 years old. Joe Lewis always lied about his age. He lied about his age all the time. One time Frank Sinatra came inside here, he sat in this chair, I said, Frank, you hang out with Joe Lewis, just between you and me. How old Joe Lewis? You know what Frank said? Hey, Joe Lewis is 137 years old. 137 years old! Oh man, you ain't never met no Frank Sinatra. Forget you! Forget you! And forget you! Who's next? Can you make my hair look like this? Oh man, why you wanna wear your hair like that for? You know I like the way you wear your hair. You wear it natural, that's good. You know I wish more of the young children today would wear their hair natural. Like Dr. Martin Luther King did. That's right, you ain't never seen Dr. Martin Luther King with no mess of Jerry Curl. Ain't that right? Amen. Dr. King ain't coming walking around like that. You know, sweets, I met Dr. Martin Luther King once. You lying. You ain't never met Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah, I met Dr. Martin Luther King in 1962 in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm walking down the street just minding my own business, just walking off, feeling good. I walk around the corner, man punches me in the chest, right? I fall on the ground, right? I look up, it's Dr. Martin Luther King. I said, Dr. King. He said, oops, I thought you were somebody else. Oh, man, you lying. You ain't never met Martin Luther the King. Knocked the wind out of me. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did! No, he did not! Hey boy, why are you so worried about how you look anyway? Well, I am trying to gain the interest of a certain young lady. Man, I ain't never heard of no woman giving no man no love just because his hair look good. That's right. You gotta go through her papa. See, that's a misconception. People don't know that about American women. Ain't got nothing to do with their hair or your pocket. You get in good with American woman's father, you ain't good with her. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. That's right, you get in good with the father, you home free. Mm-hmm, home free. Like a void. Wait, wait, stop, stop right there. A man goes into a restaurant. Are you listening? A man goes into a restaurant. He sits down, he's having some soup. He says to the waiter, come, taste the soup. The waiter says, is there something wrong with the soup? Just come taste the soup. Is the soup too hot? Taste the soup. Is the soup too cold? Would you just taste the soup already? All right, all right, I'll taste the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha. Aha. Hey, what do you know from funny, you...